morning, Cherie. Good morning, honey. And how are you today? I'm good. I'm so happy to be here at Renew Artistry. Yes, so today is Monday. Um, we are so grateful um, to be here. I am Cherie, and I'm the owner of Renew Artistry Hair Salon here in Palmdale, California. And this is Honey. Honey is one of our artists here. Um, she's a hairstylist. And so we just wanted to come on and kind of have like a little chat about the hair industry and some of the things that we want to bring back to the industry. So I just want to say like, I want to introduce Honey, of course, but I want Honey to just share her years of experience in the business and you know, Oh, so wow. you guys can have a little history background of us. Okay, so I am ancient. I started doing hair at 18 years old. So I've been in the business 30 years plus. Uh, it has been a remarkable, fabulous experience. I got in the business because I didn't know how to do my own hair. I was the only one with naturally curly hair in my family. It was long, wearing these ponytails. And I just said, that's not it. So anyway, I go to beauty college and guess what? Here it is over 30 years later and uh, I'm still doing it. It is my livelihood. I have even retired and come back, and came back and came back. That's why I'm here with Cherie because, you know, when you love what you do and you have this God gifted talent, it's not just about the money, but it just makes me feel so great when I am able to exude a female or male, their natural beauty to come out by doing their hair. It's like I am so full just from doing that. And Cherie and I worked over 25 years ago together. So that makes this journey for me even more fascinating and exhilarating. I love that, I love that. And the reason why I wanted to share um, her experience because um, when we go to share our knowledge about the industry, you guys can understand what we have under our belt. And so once again, um, my name is Cherie. I also been in the industry for over 30 something years. Mm -hmm. And I got into the business. Um, I did an interview a couple of uh, months back and I got into the business um, because um, I was doing hair as a little girl in the neighborhood, you know, playing with hair. And um, it, it came down to, I had a son at 17 and I had to make a choice of what I needed to do um, to take care of my son. And so being able to have that experience with hair, I went into the industry with, okay, I'm gonna go to beauty college, I'm gonna go to real estate and see which one works the best. Okay. And so of course, beauty school works the best and worked, worked out for uh, my good. and. Here I am, 30 plus years later, still in the industry, still loving what I do. Um, however, um, Honey and I wanted to come and just have a little chat about, um, there's been so many, so many drastic changes in our field um, as far as um, just the quality of professionalism. Absolutely. <laughs> the quality of really caring for our clients. For me, my clients have become a family. And so being able to take care of their needs as far as uh, making them feel beautiful on the outside. Mm -hmm. We have conversations where uh, we talk about just personal things that will help them feel beauty beautiful on the inside. Do you feel like sometimes we become their therapist? Um, yes, I have 30 <laughs> years of experience of therapy. And so I have 30 the years. only difference is uh, <laughs> We don't have Actually, a degree. you know what? I am a certified um, uh, coach. I got okay. a certification coach. from um, Tony Gaskin. So oh. I am a certified. See, I didn't know that. And I was um, going to his program. Yeah. And then I just, I don't know, I kind of, I got a little anxiety from it because I felt like, well, what if I don't know something that someone asked me? You know, I'm a thinking being. So I feel like I need to know these answers, you know, because people were telling me to just fake it till you make it. And I'm like, no, I can't fake anything. Mm -mm. I gotta me, know. So oh. let me tell you, in doing that, mm -hmm. we have to be authentic. Absolutely. Right? So when when people come to us, our knowledge that we share really is based on experience. 
and also our personal journey, right? Mm -hmm. But when they come and ask those questions, it's okay to say, you know what? I don't have an answer right now, but, but I'll get back. It. Right. There's no fake it till you make it because yes. we're not a fake or phony human, right. human beings, right? And so we have to be able to be very authentic and sharing. So back to us being therapists, mm -hmm. yeah, when we, I mean, we listen, mm -hmm. we have to be able to listen to our clients, um, these are learning experiences for us, being able to communicate, being able to just listen mm -hmm. and then say, hey, do you want me to respond? Right. Or do you want me to just like you should always let your client lead. We let our client lead, you know, because they may not want to talk. They may have had a rough day at work or whatever, and they just want to come and get their hair done. So it's best to just I find we both find it best to just let the client lead and. Uh, that's why we give them personal experiences. We don't book appointments on top of each other because we want to give clients a personal experience, especially on their first visit. And then as you get to know them, you know, you do things different. But you definitely, we have to be good listeners. We have to. And we enjoy it because how can we know? And they might may not even know how to explain what service it is that they want, mm -hmm. or they may have picked a picture of something that we can see um, that's not going to fit you, or this is not the magic shop, right, <laughs> you know. Right. But we're going to give you what you need to the best of our ability, and make sure that you are a satisfied customer because that that is important to us. And again, right. what I said in the beginning. If you get in this field only for the money, yeah, you'll make good money, but it's about the return and it's about, you know, just being in your innermost being, you know, mm -hmm. to, we love what we do and we want to understand what you want Ready. so that we can give you the best experience. Yeah. Right. And then you're happy and I'm so happy. Like, I am so happy when my clients leave and I know that they're satisfied and they let me know that they're satisfied. Right. I get no greater feeling than that. Right. And so just to let you guys know this interview, we are um, here at the salon. Cuts number three and off. Just an example. Down number three here and then just... Listen to what your clients are so asking for. Yes, yeah. you know what I mean? You have to be able to provide no, the services that they need. If they can't get that, then you have to be able to communicate. So being able to go back to um, building a relationship with your clients, understanding you know, what it is that they're asking for, and when you build that trust amongst each other, then they will respect you know your 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 opinions they will expect re respect okay well she knows it's best for me so just you know make me look beautiful and you know what from the years we've been in business i know i can say i have several clients that just come sit down and say make me beautiful they don't care what cut what style because i've done this person probably 20 years or more mm -hmm. even the ones 15 years they know I know them, I know their personality, and they're satisfied, and I have i won't say that I've never not satisfied anyone, but what I can say is it's far few and in between that I haven't because I'm not going to let you walk out of the door if you're not happy, if right. you're not satisfied. Right. You know, but sometimes even when we do our best, I can't say, you know, sit here and pretend like every single client is 100% satisfied because there's some that just or not right, right they didn't give us the opportunity to really get to know them so maybe they only had one visit and they're accustomed to what someone else may have done right and that is and we have to be okay with that you right, know? right so right. we have to be okay with that and let that be a learning experience and right. then continue to do the best that we could do the next right. go around so basically building that trust with your, trust with your clients and a relationship with your clients so once again we, we treat our clients like family, you know? We, we build relationships with our clients. Absolutely. And so when you build that relationship with your client, then you have that respect um, for one another, right? And so, um, like I said, the industry is definitely taking, uh, we, like we said, we, we old school. Yeah. But um, definitely, you know, you wanna stay up on like, say like the trends, that makes sense okay um you want to stay up as far as knowledge um educating yourself you know understanding hair texture types 
haircuts, different styles, being able to say, hey, this short hairstyle might not look um, cause a lot of times our clients will come and they'll, they'll send us a picture or bring in a picture of, um, excuse me, like, uh, you know, I want my hair like Holly Berry. I want my hair like Beyonce. I want my hair like this. And you have to understand Beyonce wear extensions. Okay. Um, Holly Berry, Holly Berry, um, well, she used to, uh, wore a short, um, hairstyle, but the texture of her hair is, hair is totally different. different. Mm -hmm. And so we have to be able to communicate to that client. But we, we can't communicate. Nah, you can't get that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not going to do we that. We don't do that. So we definitely will say, hey, well, I believe that based on your facial structure, this hairstyle will look amazing on you. And so they have to, you know, trust us. Yeah. But nowadays, let me tell you, the, mm -hmm. like I said about the industry, um, one of the things that I wanted to um, kind of discuss where this new age hairstylist um, there was a video released and um, it definitely <sighs> broke my heart, you know, because they're saying out there that we don't do that here at Renew Artistry. You come with your hair washed already. Oh. We don't do that. No. We actually shampoo your hair. We do a nice conditioner on your hair. Mm -hmm. um, we do scalp treatments, you know. I, I don't like my clients yeah, to come so already. Zero. I don't care so what I'm doing to you. Okay. You getting a, a, some Number braids. Three, I don't have a problem with shampooing your hair because that's Good part man. of your like service. So and you know what? If I could interject, we're kind of like doctors. We're hair doctors. We're not just beauticians anymore. The beauticians were great back in their era for what they were doing. So you wouldn't go to the doctor's office and tell them, oh, I already took my temperature <laughs> and my blood, pressure, my blood pressure. So so here, just hurry up, give me my shot. No, that's not how it is. It's like when you come in, that's our chance to get to know you, mm -hmm. uh, get to analyze your scalp. There may be something that you didn't know. Uh, you know, you maybe have a dandruff problem, alopecia, you know, different things of that nature, which is why we went to school and actually paid attention right. and learned that, you know, yeah, this is what you do. You may not even be able to get your hair, you know, done. We, you know, we don't know. We have to really analyze and look at your hair. So back again to what Sheree was saying, I'll let her continue. Yeah, so, you know, we, we, we have to get back to what cosmetology or cosmetologists really do and is, you know? We are professionals um, and we uh, definitely are here to make you feel beautiful, yes. to enhance your beauty. Yes. I'm not trying to change who you are. We're not trying to change your appearance, but to enhance your beauty. So here at Renew Artistry, um, I, Honey said beautician. I don't like that. No. We are artists. We are hair designers. We are hair artists. Um, and... We love what we do. When you love what you do, you have a passion for what you do, then all of these new traditions, they they would not even be a part of your service. You know, it would not be come with your hair washed. It would not be that. Because I remember years ago, my client used to go, I'm gonna come with my hair already washed. How much is that gonna be? The same price? Exactly. Or I wanna put my own cellophane on. The same <laughs> price. <laughs> I'm going to put my own perm on and yeah. burn your hair out and then I have to fix it. Yeah. What my clients know about me, um, because in the beginning, I was a lot more boisterous. You know, today as a mature adult, I handle my words a little more carefully. But I would tell my clients, you burn your hair out and you go somewhere else and come back to me, it's going to cost you more to get your hair done. Because now that's more work on me that I have to do. Because when you're the type of client that if you hop around I don't know what that stylish used. I don't know what kind of conditioning or what type of perm or what type of what they use so I can't be held accountable you know mm -hmm. for that but of course I'm going to be because you sat in my chair and now you're gonna leave so you know it, it's more than just paying to sit in chair and get a service you know we are really hair analysis hair doctors right. you know hair care specialists right and that's what makes the difference between us 
and a person who just wants you to come in with your hair washed already because they want to cut back on time because it may be the hairstylist or it may be the client. They want to cut back on money. You know, you get what you pay for. That is honestly the truth. Right. So, you know, whether it's a $25 service or a $300 service, mm -hmm. we're here to guarantee that you leave with the best service experience possible yes and we don't think we know too much you know to in order to be a great leader you have to know how to follow right so if there's something that I haven't done in a while and I don't know I don't have a problem telling her she don't have a problem looking at me crazy because <laughs> <laughs> because you know we we do different things and we do a lot of the same things but the thing is we're representing the salon as a whole Right. So whoever walks out that door is going to represent us all, not just Cherie or myself or Zovic, our other uh, stylist in the back. We represent as a whole, right. as a family, right. like Cherie said. Right, right. So, yeah, we just wanted to, um, this is like the first of many videos that we're going to be doing to discuss um, the industry um, and even whatever, you know, is put on our heart to talk about with you guys, um, we're going to talk about it. But the one thing that I would like to just stress that Renew Artistry was created and birthed um, as a place where you can come and feel renewed on the outside. But not only on the outside, like we've been discussing building a relationship with your clients um being able to say you're not just my customer or my client but you're my friend yeah so being able to feel renewed on the inside we, we have sometimes deep discussions to mm -hmm. where clients will walk out of here feeling like yeah i'm empowered yeah. or feeling like you know what i'm not the only one going through that so we talked about being therapists mm -hmm. you know we talked about um just being able to listen, listen, being able to communicate. So that is what uh, Renew Artistry is about. And um, we are here, um, like I said, myself, um, honey, we have Zovic and then we have Yoon. We are here um, as a team mm -hmm. and we're building. This is our foundation and we're building. And not only are we uh, creating a space of comfort, but we're creating a space of um, I think I had a conversation with somebody old school. We have stations here mm -hmm. um, where in coming up, we worked in a salon where yeah. it was it was crunch one, one chair behind the next. We we was it was it was a vibe, you know. <laughs> it was you know, hey, um, people come in and look, they were selling stuff and we all would laugh and talk, you know. We do have two rooms here. Um, Give them the address. Oh, well, Renew Artistry is located at 835 West Palmdale Boulevard in Palmdale, California on the corner of 10th Street West in Palmdale Boulevard and it is the mission Plaza is what it's called, and so um, in the center with Sizzler. So if you pass the Sizzler going west, you know you went too far. You don't, you don't, you don't went but too you're far. gonna see that Sizzler before the driveway, the entry, so you'll know. Make that right turn. Right, right. And also, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Yes. Yes. So please, we're we're growing on YouTube, and um, we would like to do a. You know, Q&A questions and answers. Right. But in order to do that, we need your support and your help so that we can do that. Yes. So follow us, okay? And so with that being said... You can also follow Cherie on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, mm -hmm. I'm on Instagram. So you can also follow Tell us what the on um, Renew, Renew Artistry. So R-E-N-U-E -E Artistry. Um, that's Instagram. We'll have all the details down in the oh, description. Yeah. We'll do that. But, we'll um, do that. Yeah, I'm. I'm so look. shout out to you guys that mm -hmm. that are watching and that you know care about your hair. So if you care about your hair, so do we do. We can only care as much as you do. So, but we love what we do.
Yeah. And we'll be back again. Yeah. Soon. Okay. So have a very productive, motivational day. Monday. Motivational Monday. Yeah. And it is what? April 3rd. 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 April 3rd. All right. So we'll chat with you soon and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. And hug someone. Tell someone you love them today. Not only that, tell somebody that they're beautiful. Yeah. How about that? Yes. Girl, Girl. you was gorgeous. And you was fine and fine. <laughs> I need a glass. <laughs> I need a glass of you. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you guys so much.